mistakes now. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I've just been for a little cycle around Hammersmith. By the way, now, I'm Steve, my wife is Sue. Oh, why? Who was calling you Sue? You did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm terribly sorry, Steve. Uh, how are the team reacting to the bad weather conditions it's there? It's getting worse, actually. The, mist, the misty rain is coming in. It's getting uh, pretty bad. We don't, I don't know if we're going to actually see the winch because it's coming in pretty bad. Oh, well, best of luck when, it, okay. when it happens. Thanks. No, I've got, uh, I've got the commander here, Lieutenant Commander Adrian Thomas, who's in charge of the search and rescue base, and he's going to actually fly the helicopter tonight. Are these conditions too bad to fly in? No, they're uh, OK for a rescue. Uh, we wouldn't normally do routine flying in this, but uh, we'll give it a go and see if we can get it Splendid done. Splendid stuff. He looks the right man for the job, Smitty. He does, doesn't he, eh? He sounds right the right man, doesn't he? He sounds should, the right man for the job. You should meet the rest of the Motley crew. Meet this lot over here. Would you introduce them to us? Who's that? The chief of officer Graham Watson and Mick Russell. He's too He's old. old. <laughs> this, one, this one here is actually Clive Sinclair. <laughs> And this one at the end is Cliff Barnes. <laughs> well, you can do a Cliff rescue. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've got to find someone to rescue now, so yes. let's just have a scout around if we can in the ocean. We've got our cameras pointing out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. that, there's a stroke of luck. We found <laughs> someone who needs rescuing. Yeah, I don't think anybody who's out there needs rescue tonight. Right, he'll do. We'll scramble the helicopter and we'll come back to you very soon, Noel. God, he does actually genuinely look as if he's got a spot of bother. We've got a sport now. <laughs> That's not Steve. <laughs> That's, that is actually our windsurfer, who is uh, struggling manfully there. And this is not a windsurfer. I'm only on land and I'm soaked. The conditions here are dreadful at the moment. We need to rescue the windsurfer. So let's scramble the helicopter with Steve Wilson, the Whirly Wheeler of the Week, on board. There's the helicopter. We've got a camera inside the helicopter. Scramble, boys, and away you go. Steve is getting himself strapped into a very special harness because he is going to be the winch man on this flight. Now, this particular unit of the Royal Navy Search and Rescue operates along 168 miles of coastline between Sussex and Devon. And so far this year, they have flown 140 sorties on rescue missions. And in fact, they clocked up 140 just this morning. As we came here, they were flying out on another mission. I think they've done another one since then. So this one will make about 142 if it goes off successfully. There's the light on the helicopter. It's a Wessex 5, as Noel was telling you. Tremendously powerful helicopter. The engine produces something like 1,320 horsepower. And they can fly it in atrocious conditions, which is a jolly good thing, because they've got the worst possible conditions here tonight. The winds are now up to gale force 6. The sea is rising to about 5 feet at the moment. And the visibility is down below the minimum of what they would normally use. Normally, they would uh, fly down to a minimum of 1,000 metres. You can see there the visibility is a lot less than 1,000 metres. Now, Steve is in there, prepared and ready to drop down into the sea. They've located the winds over. There goes Steve on the winch. That's Steve Wilson, the Whirly Wheeler. Looking very, very good indeed. Swinging about in a very bad breeze. And the downforce of the helicopter is also throwing him around quite a lot. But I think he's down, and yes, he's there. He's with the windsurfer. Now, he's got to grab hold of the windsurfer, hang on to him tightly, and be winched those 20 feet back up to the helicopter again to bring him back to land. He's having trouble getting him. He's desperately trying to get hold of him there. I think he's got him. He's got him. And here they come out of the sea. Well done, Steve. He's done it. Now, he's got to hang on to that man. Not easy. Well done indeed. I tell you, I'm not joking. Uh, you just come in. This is happening absolutely live on television. This is not recorded, and these conditions are absolutely atrocious. He has done it. Now, you can see through the murk the flashing light on the tail rotor of the chopper. Now, he's going to head back towards us and put the two of them down here. And we were joking about the guys on board that. Uh, aircraft earlier on, though. Well, I should point out that each one of those men on there has been at least commended for action in search and rescue missions around the coast of Britain. And, in fact, uh, one of them has got the Navy Cross as well. The man who is flying that helicopter uh, has got it for gallantry in, in search and rescue missions. They get called out to all sorts of things, not just boats, cliff rescues. They've even rescued cows off a sandbank. <laughs> they, winched, they actually winched cows out. But here they come. Lieutenant Commander Adrian Thomas is flying that helicopter down now. We, I've got to dive down onto the deck because we're so close to where he's going to land. We're going to get so much dirt and spray thrown onto us. 
field if that's me lying there. Hello, ma'am. Ah! <laughs> oh. Now, any moment now, we'll see our witch man, Whirly Wheeler, Steve Wilson, jumping out of that chopper. Together with the man he's rescued, the Windsor from the sea, there's Steve Wilson. Up onto the slipway he comes. There's the windsurfer, there's the other crewman, and the chopper will leave us, away it goes back to the search and rescue base. And let's go and meet the man of the moment. This is undoubtedly the most spectacular and dangerous one we've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wilson. We did try to get some of our technical equipment back to position. It's been blown away here. How was that? It looked a bit hairy. Do you have to no, get in hold of him? No, it was, uh, well, we lost him for one moment, but just grabbed him and pulled him towards you and uh, out we go. The, the, the sea looked as though it was buffeting you around a lot out there. Just a little bit, yeah. These are mild conditions what these, compared to what these guys have to put He's up. He's so with. calm. No, and I think you can talk to him now. We've got the speakers in position here. Well, there was a complete silence here at one point. We were lost in admiration for you because I, I know that that is so much more difficult than sometimes it appears. That, that is absolutely brilliant for an amateur to be able to do it under those atrocious conditions. I think we can rerun it for you and okay. allow you, Steve, just to have a little bit of a look. Great stuff. Maybe at the moment where, uh, where you were having a right old grapple in the water. And for a second, I thought you'd blown it. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to let us down for just a second no there. No way, no way. What was the problem? Just, uh, just the wind and a little bit choppy. Um, we lost him at one moment, but you just grab hold of the person and pull him towards you, hook him up, and away you go. Which part of him did you grab then? Uh, his arm. <laughs> I tell you what, Noel, their choppers are bigger here than yours, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. And uh, what about the windsurfer? Is he allowed to say whether or not he feels all right? Well, I have to let the secret out now. This windsurfer actually works here at this Royal Naval Station. Do you think he did well? Terrific. No problems at all. They did very well indeed. He's a plucky bloke, isn't he, for a guy who sells advertising on a newspaper? Yeah, he's got a lot of guts. Certainly has. Now, we must say many, many thanks indeed, Noel, to uh, Gosport Borough Council, who let us fly in here this afternoon. And can I also just say thanks to everybody here at this search and rescue squadron. They're on standby now. They're going to get called out at any minute at all, I'm sure. But we do have a very special presentation to make to Steve Wilson here from the search and rescue squadron. And what's that? Well, I'd just like to uh, give Steve a uh, badge, which is of the search and rescue flight. That's the badge. There it is. He also gets a certificate for being winched in a uh, Royal Navy helicopter. And uh, the best of all, which is very few of them around, is the search and rescue diver's emblem, which is the job that uh, Steve has just carried out. All right, Steve, so I'd like you to have those. Great stuff. We've got all those for you. Steve, congratulations. Well, <laughs> I hope you're going to get that applause. <laughs> Thanks, Noel. Well done, Steve. Noel, what was wrong with a dunker on Tuesday, then? It was a terrible, terrible thing to watch you doing. That you was didn't, you didn't want to know, did you? No, definitely I not. I didn't either, but I... <laughs> they kept trying to get me to go in. I, I always thought she was a pop singer.